Hello everyone, welcome back to the FT Share channel. At the beginning of the 20th century, automotive and aeronautical engineers faced the challenge of creating engines that were powerful, smooth, efficient, and durable. Engines with poppet valves often encountered issues with noise and durability, especially in luxury vehicles and aircraft. As a solution, the sleeve valve design emerged, which used moving cylinder sleeves to regulate gas flow, reducing noise, and improving reliability compared to conventional poppet valves. But what exactly is a sleeve valve? Why was this design seen as a solution to the limitations of poppet valves, especially in aircraft engines like the Napier Sabre and Bristol Hercules? And why did it eventually fade away? Let's explore the journey of this technology from the Willys night cars to its use in aviation. The sleeve valve is a mechanism with one or two cylindrical sleeves fitted between the piston and the cylinder block. Unlike traditional poppet valves, this design allows for smoother intake and exhaust gas flow. The sleeves have holes on their edges that align with the cylinder ports at specific stages of the engine cycle, creating a more efficient gas flow path. This design reduces mechanical noise and improves gas flow efficiency. For example, the Vauxhall Burt Type 2360 engine used dual ports on the sleeves to ensure optimal gas flow, especially during the exhaust stroke, which required a longer duration. The sleeve valve innovation was first patented by Charles Yale Knight in the early 20th century. Inspired by the loud noise of his three-wheeled vehicle's valves, he created a quieter and more durable engine. In 1904, Knight developed the sleeve valve principle with sleeves that moved back and forth within the cylinder, resulting in smoother operation compared to conventional poppet valves. With the support of businessman L.B. Kilborn, Knight produced this engine and introduced the silent Knight car at the 1906 Chicago Auto Show. This technology caught the attention of European automotive companies, such as Daimler and Mercedes-Benz, who used it in their luxury vehicles. Despite challenges like higher oil consumption and expensive production costs, sleeve valves remained popular due to their advantages in reducing noise and wear resistance, especially in luxury vehicles and aircraft. The development of the Burt McCollum design further improved the efficiency of sleeve valves and reduced oil consumption, making them a popular alternative in the automotive and aeronautical industries. During World War II, sleeve valve engines were used in aircraft like the Bristol Hercules and Napier Sabre, which demonstrated exceptional performance of up to 3,500 horsepower. Although eventually replaced by poppet valves, sleeve valves remain an important innovation in the history of mechanical engineering, addressing the limitations of existing designs and enhancing the quality of automotive and aircraft engines. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty of what makes a sleeve valve engine so special. This is a mechanical innovation that takes a completely different approach to managing gas flow in an internal combustion engine. Unlike traditional poppet valve engines, the sleeve valve engine has some unique components that set it apart. Let's break them down one by one. First up, we have the sleeve. This is the heart of the sleeve valve engine. It's a cylindrical component that sits concentrically between the piston and the cylinder wall. What's fascinating is how it moves. It can rotate, slide up and down, or even do a combination of both. This movement is what opens and closes the gas ports integrated into the sleeve. When these ports align with the cylinder ports at specific points in the engine cycle, you get a much smoother gas flow compared to traditional poppet valves. Fun fact, this design was actually inspired by the mechanism used in two-stroke engines. Next, we have the piston. Now, the piston in a sleeve valve engine works pretty much like any other piston in an internal combustion engine. It moves up and down inside the cylinder, compressing the air-fuel mixture, and then expanding the combustion gases to generate power. But here's the twist. Instead of interacting directly with the cylinder wall, it's working inside the sleeve. So, the piston and the sleeve work together to control the flow of gases. One of the standout features of sleeve valve engines is their inlet and outlet ports. 
These ports are significantly larger than the ones you'd find in poppet valve engines. They're located on both the sleeve and the cylinder, and they work together to ensure efficient gas flow. The inlet port allows the air-fuel mixture to enter, while the outlet port expels the exhaust gases. The larger size helps reduce resistance and improves overall efficiency. Now, how does the sleeve actually move? That's where the sleeve drive mechanism comes into play. In certain designs, like the Burt McCollum system, the sleeve is driven by helical gears connected to the crankshaft. This setup ensures precise movement and perfect synchronization with the engine's cycle. Plus, it's designed to minimize friction, because when you've got a sleeve sliding around inside a cylinder, friction can be a real issue. Last but definitely not least, we have the lubrication system. Because of the increased friction between the sleeve and other components, effective lubrication is absolutely crucial. Sleeve valve engines typically use specialized lubricants to reduce wear and ensure smooth movement of the sleeve. This not only helps maintain the engine's performance, but also extends its lifespan. So, that's the anatomy of a sleeve valve engine broken down for you. But how does it all come together to make the engine actually work? A sleeve valve engine operates through the typical four-stroke cycle found in internal combustion engines. This process consists of intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust, each playing a crucial role in engine operation. The cycle begins with the intake phase. As the piston moves downward, the sleeve positions its inlet port to align with the cylinder port, allowing a smooth flow of fresh air-fuel mixture into the combustion chamber. Unlike traditional poppet valves, this system provides a more seamless airflow. The movement of the sleeve is precisely controlled by a dedicated mechanism to ensure accurate timing for opening and closing the ports. Once the air-fuel mixture enters the cylinder, the piston starts moving upward, and the sleeve shifts to seal the inlet port. This marks the compression phase, where the trapped mixture is compressed, significantly increasing its pressure and temperature in preparation for combustion. At the peak of the compression stroke, also known as top dead center, the air-fuel mixture ignites. In gasoline engines, this ignition is triggered by a spark plug, while in diesel engines, it occurs through compression alone. The expansion generates high-pressure gases that force the piston downward, producing power. At this moment, the sleeve begins to open its outlet port, setting the stage for the exhaust phase. As the piston rises again after combustion, the outlet port is now fully open, allowing the burnt gases to escape from the cylinder. Once the exhaust gases are expelled, the sleeve moves to close the outlet port, preparing the engine for the next cycle. This system ensures that no residual gases remain in the chamber, maintaining efficient combustion with each stroke. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of the sleeve valve engine? Let's start with the advantages first. The first advantage is high volumetric efficiency. The gas ports in a sleeve valve engine are larger and unobstructed by poppet valves, allowing for smoother airflow. This enhances volumetric efficiency, particularly at high speeds. Prominent researchers like Harry Ricardo have noted that this design offers superior mechanical and thermal efficiency, making it ideal for applications requiring high power output. The second advantage is easier port control. The port size on the sleeve can be easily adjusted, providing greater flexibility in engine design. Unlike poppet valves, which require a trade-off between low and high RPM performance, sleeve valve engines can accommodate a wider RPM range without sacrificing efficiency. Next, we have efficient exhaust gas scavenging. The tangential flow of incoming air and fuel creates a swirling motion inside the cylinder, maximizing the removal of exhaust gases. This improves the separation between fresh air and residual gases, leading to better combustion efficiency even at high speeds. Another key advantage is optimized combustion chamber design. 
The combustion chamber layout in a sleeve valve engine is more flexible, allowing for better control over combustion characteristics. This enables the use of higher compression ratios without the risk of detonation, significantly improving fuel efficiency and power output. Then there's high speed stability. Unlike poppet valve engines, sleeve valve engines do not rely on valve springs, which often contribute to instability at high RPM. As a result, these engines can run smoothly at high speeds without issues related to inertia or mechanical failure. And finally, longer lifespan and lower wear. Since there are no direct impacts between components like in poppet valve engines, sleeve valve engines tend to be more durable. In fact, carbon buildup on the ports can even improve sealing over time, enhancing performance rather than degrading it. This makes them ideal for applications demanding long-term reliability. Now, what about the drawbacks? The first drawback is complex sealing. Achieving a perfect seal between the sleeve and the piston is challenging due to their independent movements. This often results in higher oil consumption, and in some designs, gas leakage can occur, reducing overall efficiency. Next, we have disrupted gas flow. During valve timing overlap, the piston can partially block the ports, restricting gas flow. In high-speed engines, this issue can lead to a drop in volumetric efficiency, ultimately affecting overall engine performance. Another limitation is restricted maximum RPM. Sleeve valve engines generally have a maximum speed limit of around 3,000 RPM, significantly lower than poppet valve engines, which can reach 10,000 RPM or more. This limitation makes sleeve valve technology less suitable for high performance or modern applications. Then, there's high oil consumption. The increased friction between the sleeve and the cylinder requires constant lubrication. As a result, sleeve valve engines tend to consume more oil, often producing more smoke when starting up. This creates challenges in lubrication management, especially in modern applications that demand lower emissions. Heat buildup is another concern. The sleeve design can cause excessive heat accumulation inside the cylinder. While Harry Ricardo suggested that this issue can be managed through proper lubrication and clearance, it remains a technical challenge that affects both design and performance. Additionally, sleeve deformation can be an issue. Sleeves tend to become oval if stored horizontally for long periods. To prevent deformation, they must be stored vertically in specially designed setups, adding to maintenance costs and complexity. And finally, incompatibility with modern engine technologies. Implementing variable valve timing, or VVT, in a sleeve valve engine is difficult. The fixed port positions and limited rotational speed of the sleeve restrict design flexibility, making it less compatible with modern advancements like VVT. And that wraps up how a sleeve valve engine works, along with its advantages and disadvantages. In the modern era, sleeve valve engines have regained attention thanks to advancements in materials and manufacturing technology. These innovations have helped overcome some of the challenges that previously limited their adoption, such as high oil consumption and production complexity. The first major improvement is Advancements in materials and lubrication techniques. Modern wear-resistant materials and more efficient lubrication techniques have significantly reduced oil consumption. This development addresses one of the key weaknesses of sleeve valve engines, making them more competitive with other engine technologies. Next, experiments by leading engineers. Renowned engineers like Mike Hewland, John Logan, and Keith Duckworth have conducted experiments on single-cylinder sleeve valve engines. Their findings show that sleeve valve engines can achieve higher fuel efficiency with lower oil consumption compared to earlier designs. These studies lay the foundation for further exploration in modern applications. One notable modern application is the RCV SP engine. The RCV SP sleeve valve engine is a successful example of how this technology is being used today. It is designed for applications such as aircraft, 
small model vehicles, and even heavy-duty diesel engines. This technology reduces friction by up to 40% in heavy-duty diesel applications, improving thermal efficiency and engine durability. These advantages make it an appealing solution where fuel efficiency and high performance are top priorities. Potential in Specialized Applications While sleeve valve engines haven't fully replaced poppet valve technology or other modern engine designs like the Wankel engine, their advantages in volumetric efficiency and smooth operation make them highly valuable in certain applications. For example, in model aircraft and UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles, smaller sleeve valve engines are preferred due to their high fuel efficiency, reduced noise, and impressive durability. Similarly, in industrial engines and generators, sleeve valve technology proves beneficial in heavy-duty environments where reliability and efficiency are crucial. Finally, challenges for wider adoption. Despite significant advancements, sleeve valve engines still face challenges in broader applications, particularly in meeting strict emission standards and competing with the more flexible poppet valve technology. However, with continuous progress in material science and engine design, the potential for this technology is far from over. And that's the story of sleeve valve technology through the years. While it's rare today, it remains a testament to the incredible innovation of early 20th century engineers. With all its strengths and challenges, the sleeve valve engine holds a special place in mechanical history. What do you think about this engine? If you have any thoughts or suggestions, feel free to share them in the comments. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.